Hi, you guys. So this morning, I feel like doing a mask. I haven't done a mask in a while, a while. And so I pulled this Freeman Hydrating Glacier Water and Pink Peony Mask. It's a gel cream mask. Looks like this. So this is the one I'm going to do today. I've already washed my face with just some e.l.f. Uh, daily Cleanser. But this is what the mask looks like. So it's like a creamy gel type consistency. And I have this handy little, you know, kind of skincare or mask applicator thing that I got, I'm sure, in my BoxyCharm a long time ago. So, yeah, you know, it's just every now and then I just feel like my face is or my skin is screaming for some type of mask, whether it be hydrating like this one or exfoliating or, you know, some type of um, purifying mask. I don't know, but right now I feel like my skin is like, girl, put some cream on me or something because I don't know if it's the heat. I've noticed since being out here in um, Vegas that I feel like I have allergies now. I sneeze a lot, like at the weirdest times, like when nothing is happening. <laughs> I'm not putting any seasoning on my food or pepper. It's not dusty or anything. I just start sneezing out the blue for no reason. So. I feel like maybe my change in location as well as, you know, my age that I am like, you know, starting to have allergies and stuff. I just start sneezing out of nowhere. Just a chew, a chew, a chew. Just out the freaking blue. I'm like, what is going on? I'm just sitting here chilling, watching YouTube or something. <laughs> it's crazy. So this mask feels really good. It's just, you know, it's simply just a gel cream mask. And I guess it's supposed to, um, you know, add a little extra hydration. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on for a hot little minute. And then I'll come back and do the rest of my skincare. feel productive because I washed my brushes while I was waiting for my mask <laughs> to mask. So now I am in here in my beauty room and I'm going to grab my, y'all it is so hot out here. <laughs> it's so hot. But I'm going to grab my skincare out of my skincare fridge. This is uh, the discoloration serum. I got this moisturizer as well, but I'm still using my, um, this under eye cream from Wildcat for, you know, my dark circles and stuff. So still testing this out. I also grabbed the discoloration toner. 
you know, they help to even out your skin tone. I also picked that up from Good, Mule Good Molecules. It's funny, they used to send me PR, but since I don't really be doing a lot of makeup and skincare videos, um, or it could be because I moved, <laughs> you know, they don't have my new address, but <clears throat> they used to send me stuff just like randomly out the blue. I'm going to prop y'all up. Okay. But yeah, they used to send me stuff just like randomly out the blue, but I don't get anything from them anymore. So but their stuff is really good. So I buy this stuff, you know, I ain't tripping and it's affordable. It's good. It works and it's affordable. Yeah, I'll buy it. <laughs> so I have been looking at them dirty brushes for like a couple of weeks <laughs> and just adding to them and adding to them. I'm like, girl, you need to wash them brushes. So I'm glad that's done. And it only took me like 10 minutes. I don't know what I'd be procrastinating for. Like it takes forever or something for me to wash my dang on brushes because it doesn't, especially if it's only a few of them. You know? So. This kind of mask, the gel cream mask, is not necessarily my favorite type of mask to use. My favorite, favorite type of mask to use are the kind that you put on and they dry and you peel them off. And they look just like a face mask when you peel it off. It's really cool. Those are my favorite kind only because they're fun. <laughs> But the kind that make my skin feel the best, I like the clay masks. Those are like so nice. So yeah, but I don't feel like dealing with that this morning. sunscreen on that mug but anyway so i think i'm good enough for skincare for the day so y'all i have to go to the post office this morning because my postman listen when i tell you i'm putting on deodorant by the way <laughs> when i tell you that our postman is child, this is the second time that he has put um a key in my mailbox for me to grab you know a box out of the big the big bin um you know that's big enough for our packages and stuff you know like hey here's the key go get your packages and ain't there a package in there for me it's like either you giving my packages to somebody else or you giving the key to the wrong person but i know that somebody else has my package because I was expecting a package. You know, I ordered some more watches. Y'all know I love the spring break watches. I have like almost every freaking color. <laughs> and uh, they had a little sale not too long ago on a couple of the watches that I was missing from my collection. And so I ordered them and it says that they were delivered Mm -hmm. Delivered to who? Because it wasn't a me child. So anyway, I'm going to run to the post office and see what's happening because I might have to put in a claim for my missing package, okay? I was hoping that maybe one of the neighbors, you know, got it accidentally and they would bring it to my house. They used to do that, you know, in my old neighborhood. And that's happened like once out here, but child, I'm gonna need my watches or I'm gonna need my shmoney, one or the other, cause I'm not just about to let that go, okay? 
and watches ain't cheap. Child. I know I ain't tripping. Where'd I leave the damn key? Don't you hate when you know that you put something somewhere and it ain't there? Oh, I left it in the car so I wouldn't forget it. Get it together, girl. <sighs> Child. When being too efficient works against you, okay? Turn off these lights because we are in an energy crisis, okay? It's hot as fish grease out here, okay? Ugh, child. I don't know if my camera is clear or not, honey, because I got on these shades. So, right now it's only 106 degrees, y'all. Only 106 degrees. Yesterday I got my car, it was 109. So, it's actually a little cool today. <laughs> Alright, let's get it. area at the post office and she's like yeah there's been a lot of break-ins at the boxes people have you know uh, duplicate keys and stuff and they're going in after midnight stealing people's mail and this that and third and I'm like okay well so what what am I supposed to do about my missing package and she's like well you're um, gonna have to contact whoever you bought it from and see if they'll replace it I'm like how the hell does that work when it's the post office that has a problem with people stealing packages and stealing mail? <laughs> stealing packages and stealing mail. Like, how is that the, you know, company that I purchased it from, how is that their responsibility to replace it? Like, that don't even make no doggone sense. I just see them laughing at me like, um you want to reorder but i'm gonna see if i can file some type of claim with the post office because i'm like y'all the ones having a break-in and a robbery issue not you know it's not the fault of the company so anyways i'm gonna do both and see what happens but now i'm just like well dang i don't feel safe with my mail coming to my mailbox now i gotta get a post office a p.o box just to make sure i get my mail safely like what and I feel like it's a bank card I feel like it's two bank cards actually that I was supposed to get and just wasn't even thinking about it and haven't gotten them yet so I'm just like Man, this glare is getting on my nerves sorry y'all but anyway so yeah I feel like it's two bank cards that could be out and about so I'm gonna have to check, check all my accounts when I get home and make sure ain't nobody been having no doggone shopping spree with my money, okay? Mm -mm -mm. So anyway, that's what I'm dealing with today um, with the post office and them being extremely not helpful. So yeah, I'm gonna get off here because this glare is getting on my nerves. Y'all, I am in here right now calling the banks, <laughs> calling the credit card companies, making sure all of my stuff is set for paperless, you know, statements and stuff because for the most part, all of our stuff is paperless, but I know we still received some bank statements and one credit card company for sure was sending stuff in the mail, even though it's supposed to be paperless, but y'all, I am on it. 
I am calling banks, I'm calling credit card companies, I'm calling everybody and their mama because ain't nobody got time for the foolishness. Um, as far as my missing watches, I'm going to see if I can get some type of credit. I mean, I don't have no problem repurchasing them because they do sell out. So I want to make sure that I get them. But I'm at least going to ask them for, you know, a credit for the future because I definitely buy all of their watches pretty much. Y'all, this day has gone from relaxing, peaceful skincare to, child, I need some pizza, okay? Because... <laughs> Baby, at this point, I need pizza, french fries, tacos, and a glass of wine, okay? Because the stress, honey, the stress of just not knowing what was in my mailbox and what information they may have gotten, what they may have stolen, taken, whatever the case may be, and what issues that might occur in the future. My husband already got a notification of somebody trying to get a credit card you know in his name and i'm pretty sure they probably took one of the because we get those pre-approved things in the mail all the time you know that i just shred up and get rid of but yeah so he's already gotten something talking about a hard inquiry for a credit card and i'm just like jesus take the wheel honey so since i'm the one that deals with all of the paperwork the bills the finances and stuff honey this is gonna be a long day so anyway that's what i'm doing right now just making sure everything is straight on the up and up and on lock so i got a delivery from amazon um today <laughs> safely on my porch thank goodness <laughs> but it's another one of those perfumes that i showed you guys the one that i showed a couple of um a couple of vlogs ago the really pretty red one with the beautiful packaging and it came in a box like this just like this but the bottle i believe is red so this is what this one looks like i got this one um and i also got a black one one that's like has like black um and silver detailing for the bottle the one with the black um is called orientica oud saffron and that one had more of a masculine smell to it it was it could be um unisex or whatever so i thought about keeping it but i let hubby smell it and he wanted it so i gave that one to him and this one here in this pretty packaging orientica royal amber so this one is the royal amber the first one that I showed you guys before was the Orientica Amber Rouge. And I did have that in the description box for that vlog. So this one, I am really excited to smell. It's really pretty, just like the other one. Gorgeous. This one has like gold detailing with the red writing. Really pretty, so. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, that smells good just through the, you know, through the thing. Mmm. Very, very nice. I smell the amber. It smells a little bit more floral to me, I think. Y'all know I'm not good at fragrance descriptions and whatnot, but it smells, it smells really, really nice. Very, very nice scent, so definitely not a bad purchase so i did grab that one and that one was 63 bucks so and it took a little longer for me to get this one i guess it came from uh, someone a little more far away but yeah so i got that one so i bought all three that i know of so far off amazon and i have two and i gave one to hubby so yeah, that's that. I'm sitting here waiting on my food, y'all. Starving to death, okay? Okay, y'all, so I ended up getting me some wing stop. I didn't go too dirty. I didn't go too nasty with the pizza and all that stuff, but I did get some wing stop, so I got my little wing stop seasoned fries. Got my ranch, of course. And the only thing I ever get from wing stop is the original bone-in lemon pepper wings. So that's what I got. My bone in lemon pepper wings. Absolutely delicious. And I always get a Sprite. I don't know why I get the same doggone thing every single time I order. 
And now I started getting all flats because <laughs> once I realized that I could choose the shape of chicken that I want, I get all flats. So yeah, anyway, this is my lunch slash dinner because it is four o'clock now, okay? So one meal today, it's all good, but I'm gonna get my grub on. So y'all, I forgot that I added two regular, you know, chicken wings to my order because I wanted to try out this honey habanero, honey habanero chicken strip or whatever. Hot. <laughs> I know it's called honey habanero, but child, this mug is spicy. I definitely feel my booty hole burning a little bit later, okay? So I'm dipping in this ranch. Very good, very flavorful. It's just like, just like what it sounds like, honey habanero, child. And this mug, oh, God. Mm. I so I come back and let y'all know that because I forgot that I got two of these with my wings which I'm going to have plenty of wings I guess for tomorrow because I done ate two wings and one of these with a half of one of these and I'm already getting full so but that's a good thing about wings is they heat up nicely. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to finish putting my, <laughs> my credit, uh, on lock. I'm on Experian right now, signing up to lock my stuff up and finish eating y'all. That's hilarious. So it's not, how do you bet? What do you bet? We're going to win, we're going to play what to, like horse racing. Oh, okay. Like which two, which and exactly is which two horses win? Like you can bet the four and the three. Uh -huh. If they win, that pay even more. Uh, yeah. They call it exactly, but I know too much. So now <laughs> I can tell you about what a trifecta is. Hey, that's a pass like. Hey, no. <laughs> now I'm about to sit down and. Uh, no, we better we better go hey, get me, some let lunch. Me, let me let me give me a form so I can read it. Really? So I don't know where we are usually. Where you guys? We came into. We parked at the Conrad. There's a podium all the way down. Huh? We got to go down this way. For food? I'm looking for food. I got it, but if you want to look at these tickets with Kevin Hart, let's get this, let's just do that. Yeah. You see what I got to deal with? Hey, y'all. I'm not even going to get into that. All right, come on. <laughs> Oh, okay. Can I get you guys to the 
Okay. You know what? I think we might be. Oh, no, we're not. I need to look at the menu. Okay. But you know what? Can you start uh, some smoke? Chicken? Yeah, some wings. Yeah. Dressing on the side like ranch and blue cheese. Ranch, blue cheese, and uh, honey mustard. What about barbecue? He want every dip that there is available to get his ring on. Yeah. I'm about to ask him that they got the level up series. No, but I'm saying. They need, they need to have my seasoning wing, like a wing up in here. But don't trip. I'm bringing it to Las Vegas anyway. But where can you get your seasonings at? Hey, at my website. Smoking and Grilling with AB.com. Hey, I feel like I'm making a commercial. Right now. And what kind of seasonings do you have? I got a, look, I got an A seasoning. That's good for your pork. With your pork, your lighter meats, pork, poultry, and uh, fishes. And then I got the B seasoning, which is like, take care of all your heavier meats, like your beef, your beef ribs. Hey, and it's killer on that brisket, folks. Mm. You heard it here, folks. So I'm getting ready to look at this menu. I'll show y'all my food when it comes. You don't ever really do blue cheese. How you like the wings, baby? They good. They nice and smoked. Smoked them first. Uh huh. Then fly them. Real I'm good. Up. This place is good. This is a really nice sports bar. Yeah, yeah. If you guys are coming, you know, or looking for a sports bar out here, this is, I guess, I know uh, we came through the Conrad. Oh, this is called, what is this called? The Doghouse? Dog yeah, so it's called the Doghouse Saloon. And it's really cool. They have a lot of big TVs in here. It's real casual. You can just come in here, you know, grab you some wings, burgers, tots. These tots are bomb. We paid extra for the cheese, though. But they're delicious. So, yeah. Hey, tell them why you said you even mentioned extra for the cheese. Eight dollars <laughs> for a scoop of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> But, shoot, it's worth it to me because it would have been some dry tops without the cheese. It's really good. I forgot to film it before I took a bite, y'all. Please. Did you guys like this one? Oh, you I just what? took one bite so far. Let me know, okay? Okay. I'm sure mine ain't going to be good. I'm probably going to take mine to go. I'm full from this in the wing. But, yeah, I forgot to uh, film it before I took a bite. Sorry, y'all. But this is what it looks like. Very well done. Okay. I don't like no pink in my burgers, so it's all good. But I'll show you Hubby's burger as soon as he gets his big hand out the way. So this is the Rottweiler. That's that bacon jam. So it has bacon jam on there, um, which I'm sure is really good. Yeah. Your burger looks pretty well done, too. Did you tell her you wanted a medium rare? No, I don't want a medium rare. Oh, yeah. I got my medium. Um, medium. So anyway. So yeah, gang of potatoes today, y'all. But it's real good. Tell hubby to ease up off my cheese. I paid eight dollars for that. Welcome guys. The food is really, really good. Um the eight dollars for the cheese tots <laughs> was definitely worth it if you're willing to pay the extra for the cheese. Definitely do it. It's very good. I'm about halfway through my Long Island. I can definitely feel it. I'm over here. Everything is like moving in slow motion right now. So the drinks are definitely right. <laughs> and we got a doggy bag. Baby didn't even take a bite of his burger. Woo! Boy, he the wings and the top. The wings and the tops was enough for him. I took a couple bites of my burger, but I'm taking the rest home. But yeah, this place is pretty good. We'll definitely come back here for like different sport events, right? We know tomorrow football season. Yeah, so we'll be back here for sure. Home, yeah. yeah. So anyway, just want to check in, let you guys know the food really good. The doghouse. Um, yeah. You guys got to come in the doghouse. It's, it's, it's right. It's really good. The baby really likes it a lot, so. I'm gonna finish my drink. He's gonna have to carry me out of here because this mug is made right. Having some good little food. Oh, we got the tickets too. 
Oh yeah, you want to tell him, baby? Oh yeah, we just got tickets. Uh, Kevin Hart, he'd be here like in November. I think it's November seventeenth or something like that. We're going on the nineteenth. It's the eighteenth and the nineteenth. Kevin Hart, we saw on a little billboard. A little billboard. Hey, that was like a, a luck too. Right, we just having to catch a little yeah. glimpse that Kevin Hart was going to be here on the nineteenth. And so, you know, hubby was like, we got to find out where we can get the tickets from. So we went to the concierge desk and got the tickets. So we get to go. We got some good seats. Gonna see Kevin Hart um, on November 19th. We will be there front and center having a good time. So I'm excited. I kind of want to try out staying at this hotel too, the Conrad. It's a Hilton hotel. And so we're Hilton Honors members. So, I definitely want to stay here as well. Even though I live in Las Vegas, I don't care. I still want to stay at the nicest hotels. And this one looks pretty nice. So, yeah, I'm going to try and book a room. I need to book it now because it's probably going to book up, huh? Yep. Yeah, I need to book it now. So, I'm going to book the hotel room so we can stay here for his comedy show. And it's going to be taped. So... Y'all might see the camera pan by and see a girl and see smoking and grilling, chilling in the audience at the Kevin Hart show. We get ready to sign up for a rewards card for this hotel. So, who is signing up for his first? He gonna have to help me because y'all, I'm toasty. So he gonna have to sign up for my card for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, it was so good. You know what? I'm trying to figure out how I can keep it sticking to the side of the pan. You know what I mean? Man, but it's still good. I scraped it up on yeah, the pan. Yeah, I do too. That's it. I'm here for the marriage. I'm going to pass it. 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 It's another wonderful subscribers, you guys. Aww. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, you guys, I came in here. It's kind of late, <laughs> so I'm not talking too loud, but I got uh, my bath and body works candle order i did stock up on some i hadn't been burning candles for a long time but i said you know what i wanted to start burning some candles again so i start taking them out of the boxes um they packaged well they're packaged differently than the last time i bought them they're all in these individual little boxes which i guess is better for shipment you know what i'm saying because they used to just be like in this like crate thing and then it had like the different sections for all the candles in there but anyways so that's what i'm doing right now i'm not gonna go through all of the candles that i got i just wanted to take my time and open up all the boxes and smell them all but so far these are the ones that i have unboxed and I haven't spell, smelled any yet that I do not like. These all smell so good. These white gardenias are, oh my gosh, smell so good. But I love gardenia though. What is this one down here? This one is, uh, what does it say? Oh, rain drenched leaves that one smells really good too and then i have leather and brandy the one that really surprised me was the coffee and whiskey oh my goodness if you like the smell of like a delicious cup of coffee it smells so good so anyways i'm going through unboxing all of these candles and put them away but i'm so excited if you notice for fall or really any time of the year i don't really pick up any more of the like sweet smelling candles or like flavored type candles i don't really get any of the um like pumpkin spice and vanilla latte and all that kind of stuff i don't like my house smelling like food <laughs> i just don't like sugar cookies and all those different kind of 
food scents, apple pie. I don't like my house smelling like food. For one, it makes me hungry. And for two, it'll give me a headache after a while. It smells too sweet. So I, I like to get a lot of candles that smell like like cologne or just nice, clean, fresh linen type scents or just, you know, lavender, like florals. Um, the, you know what? One that I smelled, which one was it? Hold on, hold on. Which one was it? I think it was, oh, the dark amber and oud. That one smelled like a really, really nice male cologne. Um, you know, but not super duper strong. So if you, you know, are looking for like different scents, that's not like, um, food or candy and stuff like that, you know, cause you don't like that stuff like me, try out some of these other scents. Cause so far I love them all. So I'll let y'all know if I smell anything I don't really like, but so far everything smells really good. And I cannot wait to burn these all fall <laughs> throughout the house okay okay you guys so i finished unboxing all the candles i would say these three right here are my absolute favorites the coffee and whiskey the mahogany teakwood intense and the dark amber oud they just they smell sexy <laughs> and i like it so um these are the other ones that i got just in case you're curious as far as which scents i picked out like I said, I'm not going to go through all of them, but none of them stink to me. Some of them are a lot more mild than other ones. The leather and brandy smells good too. Um, but yeah, some of them are a lot more mild than I thought they would be. Black cherry Merlot smells really good. If you like the smell of black cherry, that's the closest thing that I got to a food smell and I can deal with that. It's not bad. It smells really nice. The white gardenia, I got two of those because that's absolute favorite. The fresh fall morning, I got two of those. Smells really nice and light and clean. Flannel, same thing. Nice, light, and clean. Fireside is crazy because it actually smells like a fireside. <laughs> it really does. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. But I don't know how they did it, but it smells like a fireside. And then Poppy, I got the body wash and soap and stuff for that and absolutely fell in love with it. So I had to try the candle and it smells amazing. So yeah, those are all the candles that I have that I'll be burning for the season. These will probably last me all the way up until next year. <laughs> this time, we'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to come back, share with you guys all the scents that I got. Just in case you're curious, there are none that I have that I think stink. None of them. Y'all, I'm sitting here trying to talk myself out of the new My Dream palette from Natasha Denona. And I'm having a hard time talking myself out of it. I don't know why. Because I really, I love my Det Natasha Denona <laughs> palettes. But I don't really reach for them as gorgeous as they are. And as much as I like the quality, I don't really reach for them. So I'm actually kind of rearranging some of my palettes in my beauty space. And these are some of the palettes that I am moving around. So I'm trying to convince myself not to buy the new palette and it's not working. But I figured while I was sitting here putting my stuff away, looking and admiring these palettes, I just kind of share them with you guys just in case you have some in your collection that are collecting dust. I know I like to watch palette videos because... Sometimes, you know, you don't really necessarily feel like going through all of your palettes <laughs> and looking at them all the time and watching somebody else go through their palettes. If they have the same palettes, it'll kind of like jog your memory of what you have and kind of make you want to use them. But this one is the Tropic <clears throat> and really pretty. I haven't used this one yet. Um, I know this one, I think kind of got like mixed reviews or a lot of people didn't really care for it, but I wanted to have that in my collection, but I still haven't used it yet. This circle local palette, you guys know is like <laughs> my favorite. Um, cause the colors in here were just so beautiful. I was so excited to see her do such a colorful palette that, you know, I had to have that. So 
Um, yeah, but this Safari palette, honestly, I don't know. I think I grabbed it because it was on sale. I do kind of like these tones. Um, honestly, I think having this matte palette with these shades in here, that these are really nice um, transition shades and just kind of blending shades and things like that. So, yeah, I'm actually glad I have this in my collection as well. But a lot of these other palettes, like the smaller ones, this Love palette, my girl uh, DJ gave this to me. I created a really, really pretty like Valentine's Day look with that. This one, the Zendo palette, really pretty as well. It has some of those pops of green in there, but there's beautiful kind of like warm tone, you know, shades, really, really pretty. This Glam palette, the cool tone neutrals. I love having shades like this in my collection. Even though I haven't used this yet, I love having this palette. Um, this pastel palette, I bought this like right before I moved out here. And honestly, mm, if I had to do it over again, I probably wouldn't grab it. I just don't see myself reaching for this, but I'm sure I will use it. Um, maybe you know during the spring and summer just to give it a run and see i don't know i might end up loving it but just looking at it right now if i could do it over again i probably wouldn't have purchased that um the bronze palette absolutely gorgeous i love 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 this color story it's oh so pretty um let's see here and then i have the Sunrise palette. I picked up this, hmm, did I get this on sale? I don't remember, but it was just certain palettes that I really wanted to have in my collection. And I believe this is one of those. Super, super pretty, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, this is really pretty. I'm just looking at it like, oh, this is so pretty. And then I have here the Retro palette. I know a lot of people love this palette. I do as well. Um, I have a lot. Well, I had a lot of palettes with this color story in it. Um, you know, I've done several declutters um, before I moved, since I've moved, even since my last declutter that I had in my video, I've decluttered even more palettes. So even though I have a crazy amount of palettes, I do try to go through and kind of thin them out, <laughs> you know, like on a almost weekly basis, quite honestly. And I'm trying not to purchase so many palettes because I have a lot. But this little one, my girl um, Lily gave this to me. This is like perfect for quick little smoky eye. You can take this, travel with it. Very, very nice. I love that. Um, these, all of these I got, I'm sure from BoxyCharm, either in my BoxyCharm or through the pop-up sales or whatever. Um, but I just have ones, you know, I've kept ones where I really love the color story. This one is pretty. This is the Cranberry palette. Very, very pretty. This one here is the Ayana. So another gorgeous, cool tone palette, Ayana. This one here is the Jubilee. I like that really dark shade and the pops of, you know, little pops of color in there. So that's the Jubilee. And then this one, I don't know. I really fell in love with this peak. It's just like a really pretty neutral, like peachy toned, you know, palette. And I think these are just perfect if you really do want to just grab these to take with you on the go, to travel with and things like that. I love the size of these although i think the pricing for them is a bit high i do love that so yeah and then i have you know some of the larger palettes i got this on sale the star palette i was dying to have this for years and years and years so when it went on sale i went ahead and grabbed it absolutely gorgeous i look at this i'm like girl you got to do some pretty looks with these palettes. And then I have the blue purple palette. So that's what that one looks like. 
gorgeous. I was watching one of her super like old videos from like 2016. I guess, you know, when she was like explaining everything about the palettes, why she lays the shades out the way she does, you know, the easiest way to use them, best way to use them. I love watching Natasha Denona do tutorials and, you know, uh, show you how she does eye makeup because it's just, it's amazing to watch and I learn a lot as well. So anyways, I don't think I succeeded. I'm probably about to buy that palette right now and add it to my collection because it's so pretty. But yeah, I tried y'all, I tried. So you guys, these are the two latest um, colors of spring break watches that I purchased. The ones that got lost in the mail or <laughs> stolen from the mail and that I actually replaced. So these are the two latest colors really bright green and this pretty blue color and these are some of the other colors that i have from them um it's just like a basic style of watch i love it i love the size the size is nice um but they come out with all these different colors you know so if you like to match your watches <laughs> with your outfits or with your tennis shoes or whatever you know um it's just a nice basic style of watch. I really like them. If you'll notice, none of my watches are ticking or they shouldn't be. I don't like my watches ticking when I'm not wearing them because it runs the batteries down. So yeah, those are the colors that I have so far. So I have to make room for my two new ones. But yeah, I love their watches. It's spring break. And I don't know if you can see that when you look them up. It is just the uh, SPGBK. And yeah, really, really nice watches. I love them. Ooh.